Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today we are in the garage doing our first upgrade on the 2020 Street Bob. So for my first upgrade, I decided to install an engine guard. Now, normally I will use the official Harley Davidson engine guard, but I decided to try something a little bit different this time. So I picked up some Cobra freeway bars and here's the stock number. Now I've never tried these before, so let's crack this box open and see what they look like. Yeah, the bar itself seems like it has a really nice finish on it. So it comes with the instruction sheet, uh, sticker, and the mounting hardware. So this little mounting bracket is really interesting and actually one of the reasons I decided to buy this bar. On a previous Harley engine guard install, this was the hardest part, getting this center bolt in place. So hopefully this will make a difference and uh, make this process a lot easier. Decided to throw the tank cover on here just in case. So the plugs need to come out here so that you can mount the um, bottom of the engine guard on here. I found that I can just twist these things out of here with some needle nose pliers. So I don't have to actually like drill these plugs out of here. Okay, so this top bolt is 3 16 and that gets screwed into this, what they call a nut plate. So this is for the top of the bar. Yeah, this should be way easier than trying to hold a nut back there while you screw that in place. This just uh, rests behind here and you just hold it in place with your finger while you get the screw uh, loosely threaded in and then you can go ahead and tighten it up the rest of the way after that. And then here are the bottom bolts. These are 7 seconds. So I'm gonna get the bar loosely installed. I'm gonna start with the two bottom bolts and then go up to the top bolt. Okay, I did put a little bit of Loctite on there because these bolts did not come with any. So I did not get any of these bolts to Harley spec. Uh, these bottom ones, um, Harley spec is 33 foot pounds and I only got to about 25 foot pounds before the bolts started getting mushy. It felt like the bolt was gonna start to strip, so I stopped. It is really tight though, and I do have Loctite in there, so I'm, I'm not too worried about it. I'll just check it after a couple rides, make sure they're still uh, tightened up pretty good. Now this top bolt, uh, Harley spec, is 30 foot pounds. I didn't get anywhere near that um, before the, the bolt actually started stripping. Um, it's probably about 20 foot pounds or so, if I had to guess. But I'm actually gonna get a hold of uh, Cobra and see if they can send me a replacement bolt for this. Um, I'm not really comfortable with this one being stripped like this. It is secure right now, so again, I'm not too worried about it, but just something to be aware of. So install is complete. I really like the look of this bar. Kinda like it better than the Harley bar, actually, but uh, except for the screws, that is. So that's it for today's install. Um, all I did was hold the bar in place and lightly screw the bottom screws in, uh, pivot the whole bar up, screw the top screw in loosely, and then uh, went and tightened up the bottom ones and then the, the top bolt was last. And again, the instructions did not list any torque specs at all. Um, I couldn't find anything on their website either. So I was trying to go off Harley torque specs um, and those were actually uh, too tight for the hardware that was included with this bar. So if you like this video, click that like button and I will catch you guys on the next one.